Hi, I have something to share with you really quick. I need to hope you're well in this time. So remember that video which I did. The video I did which I went to, to, to God, right? I was talking to God. But the video, it's titled The Wealth Code. I went back. When I went back, I went back this morning, but I went back before that. When I went back to talk to God, we went somewhere else. And it turned out that we were on a mountain. Because I, so when I, I went, initially when I went into that space where God was, um, both of us remember that feeling of the water. Cause remember that we we went to the beach. <laughs> um, but when he saw me coming this time, he actually acknowledged my presence this time. And you know, like that feeling when if that if that one thing that you remember doing with that person. So both of us remember the coolness of of the water at the same time. Maybe because you know it's the sea water, we weren't expecting it to be cool. So I feel like the water that day that we went to the beach was pretty cool. So when he saw me enter this time, he smiled at me. And I don't know, no, I'm not gonna say he smiled, but he remembered me. And he and like because I remember the coolness of the water at the same time. So yeah, he remembered me. But then he immediately came down, like, because, like, no, he remembered me as the person that wanted to take him to earth or something like that. So I feel like since that last time, he's been um, coming to earth, like, on um, regular occasions. So he came down because he, I, I assumed, like, maybe he thought that's why I came so that we can go to earth together, something like that. So he came down and immediately, like, he went past me and we, as if I just went with him. And we ended up on a mountainside, like on a cliffside, actually. And he was just doing his thing. And he went to sit to face the sun because I feel like the sun was setting. And he was sitting there in lotus position. And I realized it's almost like he had become the Buddha, in a sense. And then I decided to just sit with him because he wasn't speaking with me this time. He wanted to just sit in the presence of the sun and feel the sun's light, like Buddha would like, honestly. So I was just sitting there with him. While I was kind of channeling, talking to whosoever I was on the outside space. So, um, then because God, our Buddha was not speaking to me and I was in this world, in the sunset, on this cliffside, right? But I was really at peace, content. I was distracted. Something flew past my head and I just had the urge to run after it. So I got up from my position, my sitting position and ran after this thing. I'm not sure if it was a bird or a paper plane or an actual plane. But I ran after it. And then, so Buddha, our God, and I just heard Jesus, honestly, Jesus. He didn't come after me. Um, he was still sitting there. But I was thinking to myself, why do I have this urge to chase this thing around? <laughs> All of a sudden, I was running around on, on, on a grass, like a hillside, chasing this thing around in the sky. Like, I don't know what it was, but I was just chasing it around. And then Buddha, our God, turned around and looked at me. And it's as if he couldn't um, help himself anymore. He had to come and play. Right? So both of us were like... And in that energy, um, he reminded me of Ang from the Avatar. Like a friend. Like he was just running around playing. So I was like, oh, we were just playing this time around on the mountainside. And then it's almost like I had to leave now this space. I ended up going to the edge of the cliff. And almost like I was going to fall off. Right? And so this young person, I feel like he was this Buddha. He was, he was a child. Like, I feel like we were children. I don't know. And so he was um, standing over me. And then I got the energy of Narcissus. When Narcissus was looking into the pond at his own reflection. So it's almost like I was him. He was me. You know, so I was falling up. It's so so I was like, it was a cliffside, but then it turned out I was falling into a pond. So I hit water. And I feel like his energy started coming into the water as well with me. Because I was falling back way and he was falling on. Like he would fall on top of me after I hit the water. This God, Buddha presence, right? Being spirit. So, so now I woke up. I was like, okay. But I was still in this dream space because I woke up on... I woke up sitting on a river bank with a fishing rod in my hand, sitting on a in a chair fishing. You know, and I must have I must have fallen asleep. I was thinking to myself, and I had the urge to hurry home to tell my wife because obviously I became I was a man, so I was hurrying home to tell my wife like 
like i was literally playing with the buddha just now and i was going to say it was not a dream it's for real it's for real i was literally just playing with the buddha and i was wondering if my wife would <laughs> if she would believe me you know but i was just so excited to pack up my fishing gear i saw myself packing getting up out of the chair packing up my fishing chairs almost like i woke up from this dream i was playing with the buddha but i was just hurrying to tell my wife it was not a dream i actually really was playing with this buddha you know so i was that's the end of that and then i actually came back into this space and then i just want to share that experience with you i wish i had documented it live for you to see that because i feel like it was nice this morning actually i went back to that space once more where i would say this is god's factory i feel like this is a place where he is often most of the time i went back there i don't know i feel like now he's coming to earth every now and then like the buddha would you know he's not just staying in the sky he's taking trips here to earth um so this morning i went back i went because i'm not sure why I wanted to talk to him but he oh yeah he was feeling low like he was feeling like king of cups in a very low vibration you know like emotional depressed like nothing is working out for me is that energy you know he's the king of cups but he's just so sad and i was asking him why and he's saying it's because there today there aren't a lot of people that are happy today so he's not happy you know, like he expects the children to play, to visualize, to, to, to have imagination and to have fun and to create. But I don't feel like a lot of children were playing. All of us are children of God. And so he wasn't happy today because of that. And so I was almost like I was, we were having this conversation in his mood and, and in my mood. And I was saying, you know, my, um, maybe, you know, this is the, the cycle of life. Maybe people aren't always going to be happy. You know, because sometimes we like going to the sad days to figure out what to be happy about. So, and then I feel like he didn't accept that response. Like he, did, it, it didn't make him feel any better because he wanted to be happy. So in a sense, I was being a psychologist because this is how I am. This is how I operate. I ask a lot of questions and I like to dive deep. So, so I started to do psychology and God, right? So I was like, I want to so I was like, are you sure you are the one that's not like feeling deprived of their happiness? Because I was realizing he too was so dependent on their happiness for him to be happy. So I was thinking maybe in this time, God, that you are not so happy is the time where maybe you could become more creative instead of just um, granting wishes. I feel like maybe you, it's time for you to be inspired because, you know, I was telling God that he actually is the one that inspires us. So maybe if he's inspired, maybe he gets inspired and because of our lack of happiness, so to speak, maybe this is a moment for him to get inspired and to create something new because he inspires us, you know. So um, he was like, I feel like that idea kind of cheered him up a little bit more that, yeah, okay, maybe because I don't feel like he wanted to do anything in the art. He didn't want to change the picture any at all. He didn't want to draw anything more, you know, he didn't want to paint any, add any, any addition to the art. But I'm telling him that's just how the art is. That's just how the art unfolds. It's not all the time you look at a painting, it looks the same. Sometimes it looks sad. Sometimes the same painting looks happy. But anywho, I feel like he decided that he's going to go to work and add something to the art. He figured out how to add something to the art. Like us, which is us, life, humanity, creation. Um, for more happiness to be today. And it's making him happy. So it's so beautiful because he was sad and he's going to be generating his own happiness today. Creating something through inspiration because of us. And this is going to make him love us even more. You know, because of us to make us happy, it's going to give him a new idea how, how to make us happy more. Anywho, so the last thing I saw of him, he was in King of Pentacles energy because he was he got busy at work. Um, he came down into the factory. Actually, I didn't see any, what would you call him, elves or dwarves. They weren't there. It was just literally him in his workspace. Um, and I feel like God has a lot of tools. Oh, my God. <laughs> he has so many tools. He's had this workspace for years. Like, there are tools that are so old. This workspace is so huge, the space that he was operating in. It, I feel like it's, it's in a basement or something. 
um, I'm telling you, you has he has so, he has so many different tools. I mean, like hammers, anvil, everything you can think about. And he's not organized either, because everything is just thrown, scattered all over the place on work, on the work desk, and so on and so forth. He's over there working, doing something. He doesn't want. He's not. He doesn't want to listen to me because he's in that King of Pentacles and it's just like work mode. You know when the Earth sends start working. Um, so it's almost like he can hear me documenting this. It's almost like I feel like I'm in his workspace and I'm a journalist because I feel like he wanted, he actually wanted me to get out of his face. You understand? Because <laughs> he was, he started to work. Um, so I started to say, I'm like, maybe I could look around the space. And I ended up moving around. And I feel like, yeah, that's what he wanted me to do to get out of his face. So at this point, I swear, I feel like. He's at work today. Literally, I feel like God is at work today. Like he's trying to figure out something else. He's inspired, you know. Um, and this is he likes to be in operation as well, you know. Because I feel like his tools he haven't really been using them a lot. So I feel like he actually likes his energy of working and concentration and creating something new. I don't know what he's gonna come with, but something is coming. So I feel like the next time I visit that place, I will see what. Um, what happens i'm not sure how this works exactly you know i'm not a professional like that whatever this is um so i ended up going upstairs because i felt like i was in a basement area i ended up going up the stairs and i feel like i was scared to go outside because it's almost like the basement was so warm i didn't want to leave you know but to then open the door and to go up into the light, I was like, oh, it's like when you've been inside the entire day to go outside in the cold, you're like, I don't want to leave this comfort. So to leave the basement, I was like, I don't want to leave because I feel like I'm leaving God so far behind. But he wanted me to go up those stairs because he was ready to work. <laughs> it was after I left, I realized he actually was um, pushing me to go up the stairs to get out of his space. Kind of, you know, not, you know, not, like I understand it. Like I say, King of Pentacles energy, like someone wants to focus, but buckle down and work through new inspiration. Um, and of course, he's working on something that's going to bring value, um, wealth, more things to be happy about. Because I feel like he understands. I feel like something having to do with red. Because I could have felt him like put, it's almost like the only addition to this art that he did was to add a little like a tubes of red and then it's like um in water maybe acrylic painting or something and then it just begins to trickle and spread that's all he added i don't know what that is i don't know if it was blood or the sun's light or something but a little bit of red maybe it has to do with our root chakra or root energies because like i say he saw that we weren't very happy today so I feel like maybe he he got to work on things that would work on our roots or red energy or core nature or instincts. I feel like he wants to work on our spirits and our, our souls, something like that. Maybe our survival, our connection. As if he's he realized what's been missing or what's missing or what's causing us not to be happy as his children. You know what I mean? And he himself was kind of perpetuating it because he was literally just, now I'm getting in my ego, because he was literally just sitting in space, just being sad about it, like, oh, none of my children are happy today. You know, it's like being at work and no work is coming through. That's how he felt. And um, so I told him, you know, maybe it's you. And this can apply to many of us. If you're somewhere, you feel like, nothing is working out for you or you feel like it's business is slow or whatever it is you don't feel like you have high energy you know it's just a moment for you to get creative again to be inspired to ask yourself are the moment or the situation what you really need what can i create of the situation how can i make you happy and get to work my ears is ringing i don't know what that means but it just makes me feel connected to the divine um so just get to work on yourself be inspired be creative there's always something new you can add to the art you know and maybe it makes sense too much love to you until next time remember that you're all and all is within you take care bye